So next chapter, now we will talk how you can use attributes inside of Houdini Solaris. For that, we will jump from the built um, disp uh, display desktop to the Solaris tab again. This is a completely new scene and I will use a sub create. Of course, I need to jump to the stage context. I will create a, a use a sub create to create a new object. I will dive down into the subnet or a sub create object and I will create a sphere. And I want to have a polysphere. And what we can do is we can use a color object itself. So we can do that and we can choose random. So we have a totally random colored sphere. All points have a different color. Uh, usually when you work in a subcontext, you be ready to go now to use the CD attribute, but this will not work, especially for random man. It will work for comma, but not for random man, as far as I know. So in order to make it work, you have to rename the CD attribute into your own attribute name. So I will show you what is happening to the CD attribute so that you understand when you um, select the um, sub create and when you select the mesh from the uh, from the slop or when you dial down in the scene graph details you see that we have a display color attribute right here and this display color attribute is cd itself internally so you cannot access this attribute in the shader it's only for the viewport. So in order to make it work for random man, you have to rename it. So I will create attribute rename and will rename CD to my color. Now it's gone in the viewport, that's no problem. We use a visualizer to see the color again and see if everything works properly. So my color and I will see the attribute as it is. So here we have it again. So my colors here, CD is gone and everything looks correct. We also need an output and now we ready to go to use it in our shader. I will show you in another chapter how you do that.